Boa Vista Island. Just a little over a four-hour flight away from Europe, Boa Vista is the island fantastic of Cape Verde. The easternmost island of the Cape Verde Islands, only 500 kilometers away from the coastline of mainland Africa, the island of Boa Vista is the third largest island in the archipelago with a surface area of 620 square kilometers. It is almost circular in shape, with a large predominance of beaches, especially along the western and southwestern coastlines. This fact, together with the areas of environmental interest extending from the northern coastline to the southeastern coastline, mean that it has a huge potential for tourism. The general geographical features of the island of Boa Vista, with remarkable extensive beaches, particularly suitable for bathing and swimming, especially along the western and southwestern coastline, in addition to the possibility of harmonious articulation with areas of environmental interest along the opposite side of the island, from the northern to the southeastern shoreline, point towards a dominant profile of family seaside tourism, with an important element of ecotourism. The environmental element, which in conformity with the principle of active protection, should provide some capacity for accommodation, is in itself appealing in view of the burgeoning interest in environmental themes. Furthermore, the environmental feature will add value and enhance the experience offered through conventional seaside tourism. Thank you. 
ZDTI of Shav. This ZDTI includes a total area of 1,654 hectares, divided into three subzones. Shav Nort, 725 hectares. Shav Centro, 613 hectares. And Shav Sul, 316 hectares. zoning ordinance for the ZDTI of Shav was mainly directed towards a use that would complement other areas with greater density, adopting an average plot ratio of no more than 12.2% and advocating the implementation of medium-high and high-quality resorts. After removing all the areas subject to constraints impeding use from the total land area of the ZDTI, an 801 hectare tourist development area remains, which corresponds to a maximum construction area of 981,383 square meters. And in view of this ratio, it is estimated that over the next 40 years, approximately 11,614 rooms for tourism will be built in this ZDTI. Type of business deals available with SDT IBM. Shav Centro and Shav Sol. Sale of land with infrastructures and assignment of surface rights on land for golf courses. Shav Nort. Sale of land with infrastructures. ZDTI of Moro de Area. This ZDTI has a total of 624 hectares of uncommitted land. The feasibility of the respective tourist development plan recommends the implementation of very high quality resorts and a balanced product mix focused on the conjugation of highly exclusive areas and top quality and appealing amenities. We consider that the inclusion of a casino would be extremely suitable as an important attraction contributing towards the appeal of this ZDTI. After removing all the areas subject to constraints impeding use from the total land area of the ZDTI, a 475 hectare urban development area remains, which corresponds to a maximum construction area of 308,153 square meters, estimating that over the next 40 years, approximately 4,370 rooms for tourism will exist in this ZDTI. Type of business deals available with SDT IBM. Partnership in construction of infrastructures. Sale of land with infrastructures. ZDTI of Santa Monica. This ZDTI possesses 3,432 hectares, divided into two quite distinct subzones Santa Monica Oest subzone and Santa Monica Est subzone which are, for their turn, divided into 11 subzones, corresponding to differentiated tourist profiles and parameters. The Santa Monica Oest subzone, characterized by a vast wetlands which extends over its entire length, parallel to the seafront, was subject to land use planning, which meticulously sought to preserve the ecosystem based on standards of the highest quality and an average plot ratio of 6% at the most, in view of the extensive parts of the landscape that cannot be occupied. The 
Santa Monica Est subzone corresponds to a continuous and relatively uniform strip, sloping gently towards the seashore, where there are no relevant restrictions regarding tourism, except in relation to the public maritime domain. It will be subject to a more systematic and intensive form of use, corresponding to medium-high quality standards, with an average plot ratio of up to 10%. With this plot ratio, it is believed that over the next 40 years, approximately 28,650 rooms for tourism will be built in this ZTTI. Type of business deals available with SDT-IBM. Partnership in construction of infrastructures. Sale of land with infrastructures. Island of Mayo. The island of Mayo has specific general characteristics as the southernmost of the archipelago's eastern islands. It is elliptical in shape, with a surface area of 269 square kilometers, a distance of 24 kilometers from north to south and 16 kilometers from east to west. offers excellent conditions for seaside tourism, with the best beaches along the south and southeast shorelines, and outstanding land perfect for the development of tourist resorts. In this way, out of the total of 2,054 hectares in the ZDTI, 1,830 hectares are located along these two coastlines, ZDTI of Sul de Villa de Mayo and ZDTI of Ribera de Donjon.
ZDTI of Sul de Vila do Mayo. This ZDTI is situated along the southern coastline of the island of Mayo and encompasses a total area of 770 hectares, of which 574 hectares are intended for tourism and 196 hectares are protected areas and landscapes. The existence of areas with environmental and geographical constraints, namely the Casas Velhas protected landscape, prompted a zoning ordinance where several different small and medium-sized hubs would be created. Exclusivity and variety were taken into consideration when planning the type of tourism to be offered in this ZDTI. In this ZDTI, the tourism development plan determines a maximum construction area of 440,831 square meters, corresponding to an average plot ratio of 8% in areas for tourist use. With this plot ratio, it is believed that over the next 40 years, approximately 5,067 rooms for tourism will exist in this ZDTI. The type of business deals available with SDTIBM, partnership in construction of infrastructures, sale of land with infrastructures. ZDTI Ribera d'Anjou, located on the eastern coast of the island of Mayo. This is the largest ZDTI in this island. It covers 1,060 hectares, of which 924 hectares are for tourism and 126 hectares are protected areas and landscapes. The fact that this ZDTI includes sites of ecological interest, in particular the Lagoa Simidor and other small beaches where turtles lay their eggs, means that in addition to high and very high quality standards, the environment is expected to become a dominating theme in the programs of future resorts built there. The requirements inherent to these recommendations justified implementing an average plot ratio of 8% in order to provide the best possible conditions of use, taking into account the stated aim of protection and valuation of the environment. Eight thousand two hundred and seventy-eight rooms are expected to be built in this ZDTI over the next 40 years. of business deals available with SDT-IBM. Partnership in construction of infrastructures. Sale of land with infrastructures. ZDTI of Pau Seco. Located on the eastern coastline, this ZDTI extends over 224 hectares and includes an extremely beautiful bay. Although the beach fronts are not very large, the seaside as a whole offers exceptional breathtaking views. No tourism development plan has been made for this ZDTI yet, but the studies that have been performed indicate that medium high quality resorts should be developed there with an average plot ratio of 15%, taking into account the benefits that arise from the critical mass arising from this index. An alternative approach has also been considered based on the creation of an extremely exclusive, very high quality tourist hub involving top quality equipment and services in association with a highly sophisticated approach of the respective areas. Type 
of business deals available with SDT IBM. Partnership in construction of infrastructures. Sale of land with infrastructures. Mm -hmm.